<laughs> hello beautiful people how are you doing today um this is your girl dr doris and i'm here to answer some questions as usual some people have been getting some messages and some questions from people like what is my input about study groups and what is my input about um doing some online courses like brush up courses before your amc mcq exam and i'm going to answer that question based on my opinion meanwhile guys you should know that this is my opinion okay so a lot of people will be like oh my opinion is what i'm going to tell you you might do it differently and it will work out for you but what i'm saying is my opinion so if you're interested in hearing my own opinion come on on this video let's talk about it Hey guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. If you're seeing me for the first time, I am Dr. Doris and um, I always give updates about doctors coming to Australia. Just a few of family posts and um, most importantly, doctors coming to Australia. So now, I'm answering the questions of having study groups. So look guys, in terms of AMC MCQ exam, I highly recommend that you should have study partners, okay? But why having study partners it is very very important to make sure that those that you study with are on the same frequency with you they are on the same bearing with you in terms of like the seriousness and um the ability to participate in your study discussions and when you guys give out like assignments like people should read about this and post on the group they should be willing to participate you need serious minded study groups study partners okay when i was trying to write my own exam i bumped into several people but i can tell you that i have also met some people that are really unserious even when you call them to study with them they are either so slow or they do not even know what the exam is about and and they want to start like using you to do practical on how to study you know so some people are just a killer a vibe killer when it comes to like studying with them so my own opinion about studying for amc is finding people that are on the same frequency with you that understands the journey and understands the purpose of what you guys are trying to do and in that way you can form friendship too you know because i i studied with a lot of people and i ended up becoming really good friends with them and even up to your date we are still really really good friends so i encourage that if you think that um that is gonna work for you i encourage you to to give it a very a try give it a go okay study group is very important with very serious study partners secondly um groups on telegram okay if you join groups on telegram um always participate in their group discussion but most importantly, like I said before, a lot of you don't know how to answer a call. When you answer a call, some people will be answering incomplete recall and trying to find the answer. The best way to go about recalls is to gather the recalls, gather the topics, gather all the, at least the, the, the ones that the recaller remembers and read everything about them so that you can know when they change something in the question. Because one person might recall something, but when you go to the exam, you notice that they would change some things in the question. And because you just read only the recall, you didn't come down to understand the topic individually, you're going to fail because once they remove move one thing from that question is no longer the same as what the other person record so that's why i always talk about the right way to study recall you know because it's it's um it goes a long way to um like help doctors in terms of like studying records that is the next one now another important thing that i want to talk about is people that are asking for um what what i think about joining some paid online courses okay now for my amc mcq i didn't join paid online courses because i i i i i no sorry i'm not meaning to offend anyone but this is my opinion okay i found that those like online courses are kind of ripoffs you know because 
um i'm not saying that there are not good ones they are really good online courses that you can join but i mean i think that some people some specific online tutors um some of the groups that claim to teach doctors um that are doing online courses are ripoffs okay because okay tell me why somebody would be charging okay an exam that is three thousand dollars somebody will be charging you five thousand for a two-month course you know what are you what is the person teaching you differently that you don't know as a doctor this is a brush up course and it should be affordable it's not supposed to be more expensive than the exam itself i have seen a lot of people do that and i actually think that i mean it's time they recheck like the cost and the charges that the, what they are charging because somebody who barely struggled to pay for an exam will then pay times two of whatever they used to pay for the exam just to get a brush up course okay it all boils down to going to study on a serious note like what i'm not discouraging you if you want to do online brush up course look go for it okay if you're happy to do online brush up course if you feel that it helps you go for it but trust me if you do only online brush up course and you don't read your book you will still fail the exam i'm telling you in the end it boils down to your effort as a doctor the energy you have to study and i mean the the way that you really want to study that is the most important like i said before what i found to be very useful for my exam was kaplan series um uh amides question bank they are very very good you don't even have to meet anybody just subscribe to the question bank and it's very affordable i find that to be very fair you know um in terms of and they are very very related to whatever you like they teach according to what the guidelines says you know m plus is also good but m plus is like i believe that m plus is for everybody but amides is kind of like more specific to australian medical council guidelines you know that's amides for you and i recommend them okay um if you want to still go ahead and get taught and do group courses for amc mcq uh get a brush up course my dear you can do that but um I didn't find that useful for my own exam like i said before this is my opinion okay and i have the right to my own opinion okay um you can agree or disagree with me you can do it differently like i said it might work for you but this is my own opinion okay um so i didn't use the any of those um like um study like online payment study but i um i found amides i used amides and it's really good okay m plus is also good but amides is more structured towards australia medical council um if you just do amides question bank and you study kaplan uh, series properly and you follow rscgp guideline or all the australian guideline look hook line and sinker i don't see you failing that exam because everything is in their guideline everything that they want you to do for a patient let's say a patient comes in and the patient is having these 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 and you're suspecting is this that that the details of how you're going to manage is all in the guideline if you study the guideline you find out that the exam becomes easy because everything you will see will come from the guidelines that's what i that is what i believe i i, I believe that australian medical council is kind of is a difficult exam but it's doable okay doable in the sense that if you go through their guidelines and study it very very hard you are gonna pass the exam you have a very good chance of passing the exam it is a lot to study and trust me when i did my amc exam i felt that they were very vast they went through every system they has a they have a way of touching down everything you know the exam is very tough but if you study hard go through the guidelines very very well have good study partners join telegram groups and um look at the records you know and go to them through the rscgp guideline kind of a theory based recall i found out that that is one of the strategies that works most for people in terms of writing amc mcq exam um tell me what you think if you think 
something different tell me what you think on the comment section and um if you're still watching me up to now thank you so much for coming on my videos and um i will see you in the next one bye